Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, firstly, thank you so much to everyone who tuned into our live this morning on Saturday. It was super fun. Hope you enjoyed. Fun project today, y'all. So many of you might know that I used to have a massive awning on my van, um, a really nice one but it was super big. It was like 10 by nine. It was very heavy. And if I had two people with me all the time, it'd be easy to put up, but it was very, very difficult for me to put up by myself. So I took it off several months ago and Maddie Van Halen on YouTube actually made me a homemade awning that I can easily set up and take down by myself. And it takes very little space in my rooftop box. I'm sitting under it right now and all it consists of is a five by seven tarp, some tarp poles, paracord, bungees, and a couple tent stakes. That's it. It's something that you can also easily do. If you're interested in learning more, Maddie has uh, more specific information on his channel. But in this video, I'm going to kind of show you how he put mine together and the steps that he took with uh, my assistance, of course. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into it. First things first, I have to gather the materials. So we have the tarp. I ordered the tarp poles from Amazon, 22 bucks or so for a set of two poles. Paracord bungees is all from Harbor Freight. So it's time to get started. We're going to use my heavy duty poles to hold up the awning, but we are going to use this cheaper metal one to secure it. And this is what Maddie will drill a hole into, so he's measuring it out. I do have a standard Dodge roof rack on my van, and that's what we will be putting the bungees into to secure them. We did have to use a screwdriver to take off the lids but easy peasy, nice and simple. Okay. Bungee through. And this will hook there. The same. Right there, okay. So now we've got some structure, substantial, right? Yay, very substantial. And uh, how tall do we want these poles? About that tall? Well, yeah. Um, that's like the general length unless we need to take any off, but Maddie already cut the paracord to be an appropriate length, but we will use two tent stakes in order to secure it to the ground This is a necessary step, especially when you have windy days Like we do today as you can see we have about 14 mile per hour winds So you will want to have it as sturdy as possible. So the paracord is necessary and the main legs of the awning don't have to be up straight quite yet. We are just setting the general structure so we can get the paracord measured out, tied down, and then measure the other tarp poles so Maddie can drill the hole in it where one of the legs will secure into the tarp pole. So we are generally getting it set up for proper measurements and now he is lining up the tarp pole that will go across each leg so he can measure where he needs to drill the hole into it. This is also a necessary step so your awning isn't blowing around everywhere in the wind. This with pliers to make a flat spot A little more than that. So I can drill in. There we go. Perfect. I'll drill right into that. Drill all the way through. Cool. Okay. Maddie is currently drilling the hole in the other tarp pole, and as you can see, the tarp is moving a lot, and that's why you need that additional piece. So we will stand the legs up straight and adjust it appropriately 
when he brings back that additional tarp pole. But we are making a lot of progress. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. You know things are getting serious when Maddie takes his hoodie off. Yeah, guys, he has his hat on like he is ready for tinkering. <laughs> but the hole is drilled and it's all set. It's really coming together. So now we can adjust the paracord as I stand the legs up straight, one side at a time. What's nice about a project like this is you can really adjust it however you need to. And if you're looking for a project, it's like an everlasting project, adjusting it how you need. But look at that, you guys. It's really working out so far. Since we don't have cleats, we'll just do it like that. Okay. And then we'll put the bungee in between. Okay. Where's the bungees? Uh, right there on my chair there. Between both paracord sides, we will put a bungee to add further tension, which creates security on the awning. This blue one was a little bit long, so we used a shorter yellow one, which Maddie ended up putting two knots in to make it even tighter. But when it's tight like that, it adds that security and that tension, like I said, so the wind won't take it down easily. We also need to add some sort of tension to the tarp pole and the tarp in the middle so it stays connected a little bit better. Let's see what we can come up with. Maddie decided on Velcro strips that simply go through the tarp and loop around the pole as you can see here. Very inexpensive, easy, effective solution for keeping both pieces of the awning secure together. Voila! There we go. Looking pretty good so far. Maddie sure is the Tinker King, I'll tell you guys what. Furthermore, we did add a bungee in the middle that attached right to my roof rack because the wind was lifting it a little bit in the middle. Rather have more tension on it uh, and security, especially in these types of winds, than not enough. And adding a bungee, you know, takes 10 seconds. So it's not like it's a ton of work and I keep everything in my tool bag anyways. So here is the finished product. My awning is complete and what's nice about it is I can still open my doors, access my rooftop box from the other side of my van, and it creates plenty of shade. This is great. We added an extra clip on the top to keep the tarp a little more secured to the pole. May or may not be necessary, but it's there anyways. This will be perfect for the summer. As you can see, it creates a nice little area of shade for me and Winston to be comfortable in the hot sun. You guys know me. I had to add my feminine touches. Look how cute my lantern is hanging on the pole like that. Plus, dual purpose, I can use this for my laundry. Man, this awning is going to be pretty great. I said at the beginning of the video that the tarp is 5x7, but it's actually 4x6, which works out perfectly for my minivan. I can still open my front passenger door, and my sliding door still closes, opens and closes with no problems. Now, if you are super tall like Maddie is, you might have to duck your head a little bit, but it's fine for me, so, and he'll just have to duck his head when he comes over. Um, 
but it's nice because we have 15 mile per hour winds today and it's very, very sturdy. So you may need to make some adjustments if you decide to make one and I'm sure Maddie will tinker with it uh, whenever he feels the need, but I can put it up and take it down by myself with no issues and it takes up very little space. I can access my rooftop box still on the other side of my van. So everything is great. I mean, it's really pretty incredible and inexpensive. So that's a huge plus too. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope that it was fun and helpful. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we will see you next time.